give me a little bit here to, yep, out of work. Well, welcome. Um, hopefully we can all enjoy the evening together here. I believe we will. Um, a lot of music, a lot of worship. That's what we come together for, to worship God. Uh, a couple announcements here. It's starting to cool down here a little bit. That's a good thing. It was really warm in here. They uh, set the heat on instead of the cool. <laughs> um, when you buy food, you, you pay for the food at the big window, or if you're just getting drinks, you can pay for it at the table. It don't matter which way you want to do it there, but um, if, you get, if you pay for it at the big window, let the girls know that it's paid for. <clears throat> if you hadn't noticed, there's restrooms off here to your right, or to my right, left uh, back corner of the room. And uh, I'm sure you all know uh, Mark and Ruth, or you wouldn't be here. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, they're going to lead us in worship. And uh, let's begin with a prayer. Kind Father, we come to you this evening. We thank you for your blessings to us. Thank you that you have brought each one of us together here this evening. Father, just pray that you will be with our uh, worship service here. Bless uh, Mark and Ruth as they uh, sing for us. And uh, pray that uh, the worship that we uh, give will be a sweet savor to you. Just uh, come down among us here and, and touch each one of our hearts as we uh, worship you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Appreciate that. Well, thank you, Reuben. Um, just a, a couple things before I start, and that is, uh, first of all, for those of you watching on live stream, there is a real good chance that you do not have a good picture and will not have and it will get broken up sometime tonight because we do not have very good internet here or even um, whatever you call that. Yeah, we don't have that very uh, strong here. So don't get upset because we have a sound man here by the name of Brian Gaiman who uh, has been doing sound for us every time we get to Roxbury thanks to his dad and mom. Yeah. So hand for them guys, isn't that something? I'll tell you. And uh, I, got, I got Brian's card here, so you guys, if you ever have any need for anything like this, why, check him out, or, and, and we'll get you, yeah, give him a lot of work if you can, because he has a tough job, and that's trying to make us sound good. So we're going to give him all the, all the credit we can give him there. Um, the other thing, of course, is that we want to thank you all for coming. Hope you enjoy the evening. I'd like for it to be an informal uh, unedited, unrehearsed, sing along, and uh, you even got the popcorn tonight. Now, isn't that cool? I used to have you pull up an imaginary bowl of popcorn, but this is the real stuff here. So, we're glad for that, and we're glad that you took the time out to come. And we hope that it'll be a worthwhile time for you all. Also, want to recognize, of course, uh, Lois and Reuben Hagee. Those guys just went over the top every time. Let's give them a hand for all that they've done here. Yeah, appreciate that. So help yourself to the food back there. It pays the bills and, 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 uh, and takes care of expenses, and we're grateful for that. So, yeah. The name of Brian's business is Proclaim Media. That's right. We need to get that out. Proclaim Media, helping you to get your story heard. He certainly did that for us. So, yeah. Anything else we should say before we start saying it? I better not get started talking too much. Yeah, all right, let's sing then. This is a sing-along, right? Yeah. Hey, let's start with that one. That, um, we, yeah, oh, I did want to say this. Dorcas is up here. You know that, right? Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah, she, she consented to come up with us, and uh, she, we may embarrass her sometimes, but it's never intentional, just so you know that. And then also, we our, all know that I think true. our son Chris just came waltzing in, so eventually, once he has enough of time to come up and join it or once he feels comfortable coming up and joining us 
Chris, we didn't put a chair up here for you, so you come up whenever you're, you're huh? Yeah. He's tired. He's tired. He's tired? Well, I'm retired, and I'm still coming. No. I wish I were. No, not quite. We have had a, a delightful trip meeting people again. We left uh, Sunday a week ago from Canyon City, Colorado, where we now reside and serve in the ministry there. Um, and um, came back through, of course, some of you have been following that. I won't spend a lot of time on that, but once again in the east, the beauty of the country here, just it's just beautiful. Hey, let's sing that uh, chorus, Fill Up My Cup. We'll start with Amazing Grace and then do the Jesus Loves Me verse as well. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound That saved a wretch like me I once was lost, but now I'm found Was mine, but now I see Fill up my cup Fill my cup, let it overflow Fill up my cup Fill my cup, let it overflow Fill up my cup sounds good in here, doesn't it? Wow, I love it. All right, let's go to that chorus that, uh, as the deer. Someone asked for that one, didn't they? As the deer, who was that? Uh, Karen Garloff. Karen Garloff requested this song. Is Karen here tonight? Hey, all right, we have somebody who can request it. That's great. As the deer panted for the water, so my soul came to my mind. I wanted to go right on with that, but I guess I better not. I love the clock they have here. <laughs> Did you notice that? It's only quarter to five, and it's been that way for the last maybe even days, so if I go too long tonight, not my fault. <laughs> Just kidding. You'll have to go time out, Mark. Time out, you know. Time to quit here, because honestly, I forget sometimes. These sing-alongs have been so much fun. I, I don't know. Uh, someone wants to ask me, you know, what are you going to do after you retire? 
or what's your hobby? What do you really enjoy doing? And honestly, I don't know if I've ever had so much fun as just sitting here playing guitar and singing with you people. And I also wanted to announce if any of you have guitars or banjos in your trunk of your car, but you didn't have the nerve to bring it out, now's the time to go get it. Okay, you're, you're okay playing along with us. We'd love to have that. Someone, a uh, couple sing-alongs ago, I think it might have just been last night even, asked about that song, He Is, and I just love that, Is He Worthy? I just love the message of that because the first question is, do you feel the world is broken? And we all know that evil has become so bold, and it just, it's, it's annoying, <laughs> for at least, it's heartbreaking, actually, when you see the brokenness, the the, the division that, that uh, Satan is trying to bring into our country and into our world. And uh, yeah, so help us out on this one, at least answering the questions, if you know the song. Oh, yes, let me put the capo on because it's a little low for you there. Let's do that. Do you feel the world is broken? We do.
Something like that. <laughs> Love that song. Is the Lord worthy? Far more than what we can ever give him. It reminds me of that song that I had the opportunity of writing, and I don't know, maybe somebody wrote, somebody request you are a creator real quick. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Um, because that one line in there that I, it, it made me think of that one line in there that says uh, he deserves all the praise creation can bring. The Lord created creation for his glory, and you're part of that creation, and I have just uh, learned to appreciate more and more the beauty of that creation. And I'll tell you a little secret. I don't like to say this in front of a whole group of men, but I love flowers. Only women are supposed to love flowers, but, but I love flowers and, and, and all the beauty of that creation. And um, something else that I just love to watch is how God created each of us unique. Can you believe it? Not one of us is exactly the same. That's just amazing. I love it. Here we go. Sing along with me. Yeah, thank God they're not like me, right? When I see the blue in the summer sky When I feel the dew in the morning grass When I smell the fragrance of the flowers in the spring I just thank you, Lord, for creating all these things You are creator And calm the storms and still the mighty wind. The trees clap their hands, the hills resound with praise. We will join in singing and to you our voices raise. You are creator of all things bright and beautiful. Jehovah Jireh, Lord of all. Lord of all and King of kings. And I will praise your name for just as long as I have breath. You deserve all the praise creation can bring. Do it again. You weren't ready for me that time. Exactly. <laughs> he knows how to beat it. <laughs> I will tell you this: Dorcas has a beautiful voice and has a has a good singing ability, and she can outdo me that on on that one. But it kind of reminds me of some people tell me I'm so full of hot air. At least that's one thing I can do with it, huh? <laughs> Praise the Lord. But I just wanted, yes, sir. It's not on. Okay. Well, we'll just have to leave it go then. Okay. It's yeah. Sorry. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Thanks for trying. We made a valiant effort. Speaking of Chris, my brother Chris and Irma, my sister Mary Ann, um, niece Teresa and her children, a lot of family here because we do have our annual Nisley reunion, at least it's part of the reason, here at the Roxbury this weekend. And uh, they say things always get a little loud in Roxbury when the Nisley family comes there. And I apologize to all you other residents if, you know, if you're annoyed by us. Um, I do remember and this, I guess I'll share this, but one year they told us that we were too noisy Saturday night after quiet time, way too noisy. I think it was Dorcas's fault. No. -uh. 
those nieces would get to going and singing and carrying on, and we would sing around the campfire, and sometimes we got a little carried away with that, I guess. Pretty but sure I was not by myself, and I'm pretty sure my aunts and uncles were in on it, too. Who? Well, maybe. <laughs> we were probably sleeping, weren't we? No. No? Okay. Anyway, the reason I mention that is because they actually told us if we don't quiet down, we can't come back next year. So we, so quiet. we, we quieted down, I think. <laughs> anyway, I'm not particularly proud of that. I'm not sure why I told you that, but anyway, that's, that's, that's the, for the what it's worth department, right? Yeah. But, you know, uh, I appreciate family. I really do. Family, um, brothers and sisters, nieces, nephews, uncles, aunts, and all that. And sometimes uh, things come up that divide those families. As a chaplain, I've had the difficulty of working through some of that when a grandpa, grandma is ready to die and there's children not on speaking terms and that sort of thing. And always, it always bothers me because life is too short for that. And I know things come up. I know you can't minimize some of the difference or some of the pain that happens. And in, in, um, it seems like often we hurt the ones that are closest to us the most, you know. We rub shoulders all the time. And, so I just want to encourage all of us as family of God, you know, there is the bloodline family, and I honor that very much, but let's go beyond that. Let's go to the family of God, because there is so much healing that needs to happen. There's so much blessing, so much growing, so much encouraging each other that needs to happen in the family of God. I don't know how you do it perfectly. We probably don't at all until we get to glory. But the Lord's word is full of, it, of uh, commands and instruction in how to live with each other and encourage each other as, as children of the Lord. Jesus Christ, the head, we are part of the body. Some of us may be fingernails or toenails or as you discovered on the sing-along. No, I won't go there. All right. How many of you watched that real embarrassing sing-along episode? Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Too many. Well, the rest of you are wondering what it is. Don't worry about it. It wasn't that funny. <laughs> but um, I was really embarrassed one night. Let's put it that way. Switching gears a little bit. Oh, I know what I want to do. With that family of God thing, you know that course, I'm so glad. And also, before we start singing, I meant to mention this right away. It's your night. Testimonies, memories, or song requests. If you have any of those, now's the time to share them, okay? I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by his blood. Join heirs with Jesus as we travel this side. For I'm part of the family, the family of I don't wait too long. My wife says sometimes I don't wait long enough. I'll say, does anybody have a request? And I go right on talking. So, victory in Jesus, God of the mountain. Okay, we can do those two. I'll tell you what, that's two really good ones there. Do you have them up here, hon? I think for, for God of the mountain, we'll throw a little bit of harmonic in there. There's the right, whoops. This has become a favorite, the God of the mountain, because you know and I know that it's pretty easy to maintain faith and, uh, and to follow God when things are going easy. But when things get tough, we got to recognize that the same God is there. He weeps with us. He walks with us. I'm so impressed with that story of Jesus going up the grave in, there with Lazarus. Did he know that Lazarus was going to come out of that grave again? I think he did. I think he knew that. But he still wept with him. Did you notice that? How does Jesus do that? How does God do that? Jesus is a picture of who God is. And so I believe that God feels and senses our emotion. Now, yeah, anyway, it's just amazing to me that he does that. God of the mountain. <clears throat> In the key of D, if anybody's playing along. Life is easy when you're up on the mountain. Like you never known, but when things change and you're down in the valley, don't lose faith for you're never alone. And the God of 
the mountain. He's the God in the valley. When things go wrong, he'll make them right. And the God of the good time is the God in the bad times. The God of Trials and temptations, that's when faith is really put to the test. And the God of the mountain is the God in the valley. When things go wrong, He'll make them right. And the God of being the God of the mountain. <clears throat> Victory in Jesus is in there somewhere, no? Oh, okay. We'll stick another song in there, then we'll get to Victory in Jesus. All right, that makes sense. It was a request, too. Um, yes, Anna Hoover requested this song, and she wants to dedicate it to our daughter, LaDonna. Who's Anna Hoover? Dad. <laughs> Where's Anna? Hi, Anna. Back there, okay. Anna and her husband... Um, latched on to us somewhere along the line, or we made, we became friends, and, and I, I'm sure I told you this, but I'm going to tell you it again. Um, Dan, that's your name, right, Dan? No. no. Jim. Jim. How come I called Dan. you Dan the last three times? As I get my Jims and my Dan's said. and my Johns all mixed up. Sorry about he that. He does that with names. That's okay. It doesn't mean he doesn't know who you are. Well, you know, when you, do you do it with your children? Remember that? You, you, you go through the whole line. Well, that's really rough with her mother. She had 13 children. <laughs> so, but anyway, yeah, um, they uh, sent us that wooden horn. Do we have that horn in here? Oh, yeah, we'll play. We'll blow that horn a little bit. And anyway, we had some. Uh, it, it goes way beyond that, but their friendship is much appreciated. And I think, Jim, you still making them horns? Still selling them? All right, so buy a horn from Jim. There's my commercial for you, Jim. Beautiful song, though, Anna. And, uh, you know, walking through the valley... And knowing that Jesus is there, he's the lily in our valley, he truly is. All alone and broken hearted, trying to calm the raging battle in my mind. In the search of many answers that my troubled soul just couldn't seem to find. I saw a flower blooming where there was no rain or sunshine. And I knew not that this flower could change the rest of my life. I found the lily in my valley. I found strength when I was born. Found a place to leave my burdens. I found refuge from the storm. A place where I trade my dark skies to beaming rays of sunshine. I found a lily in my valley, and it blooms all. Just 
just can't seem to find peace of mind. You're searching for your answers, but your problems are getting worse all the time. Just reach your hands to Jesus. He'll take you in and break the ties that bind. Be the lily in your valley for the rest of your life. I found a lily in my valley. I found strength when I was warm. I found a lily in my valley, and he blooms all the time. I found a lily in my valley, and he blooms all the time. Amen. It's a beautiful song. <clears throat> a beautiful song that I didn't have my timing right on. Sorry, Irma. Where's Irma and Chris? You guys sang it, didn't you? With the, yeah, your, your group used to sing it. Okay, I thought so. Victory in Jesus. And you believe it that we can have victory? Amen. Sometimes it seems impossible, but you know God is the God of the impossible. So tonight, if you're feeling bound up by, or chained in by a habit or a doubt or a lie that wants to uh, tear you down, don't believe it. Let's go with Christ. Mm. I think I do this in the key of G. That sounds high. Hey, Chris, where are you at? You want to come join us on this one? You don't have to if you don't want to. And he quite the guy, I'll tell you. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that when we started to sing along and the children started watching, sometimes they're like, oh, dad, mom. But anyway, their grace is about it. They've been very gracious about that. You want the melody or you want the tenor line? What's that? Tenor. 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 I heard an old, old story How the Savior came from glory How he gave his life on Calvary To save a wretch like me I heard about
get ready to say I was about to have a Pentecostal fit, but I guess I'll leave that go. <laughs> you know we have so much to praise the Lord for, and especially, especially victory in Christ. Where do you want to go next, guys? you want to do the children's songs next? or? Yeah. Oh, wait, Chris is up here. Let's, let's have it. Yeah. Wait. What are we doing next? Let's do one more. Let's do one more hymn. Um, let's do um, Unclouded Day. Step into the water. All right. All right. We're winging it. Sorry. When we go by the seat of our pants here, sometimes it's, it's hard to decide which one to sing. There's so many songs. And you know what I found out with this sing-along? I found out that you all know a lot of songs I don't. And I uh, tried to learn some of them and just totally, brutally, anyway, we'll, go, we'll start with it. This one is, is a favorite of mine. Kurt Talley wrote some really good songs back in the day. This is one of my favorite ones. But before I go into that, I just saw Peter back there. My, my, my. It's been quite a few years, hasn't it, brother? Wow, wow. You know, and SMBI, that's right. That was first time. Family Week. Oh, wow. That was back when these guys were just youngins. Yeah. Oh, my. So good to see you and your wife. And I'm sorry, I don't remember your name, Mary Ann. I got memories of you at Bible quizzing retreats, for one thing. And one of the things that I, I'm just going to share this. I, I meet people sometimes who become my heroes of the faith. And Peter's one of them. <laughs> I saw his his love for life, his love for others, right during his own, or dealing with his own disabilities there, or challenges, whatever you want to call them. And Peter, I just want to bless you tonight. Keep on serving God. And the joy that you have, the joy that we can all have, in spite of our tough times, right? And we've all had tough times, haven't we? Tough challenges in our lives, especially these last two years, <laughs> all the questions there. Let's keep on going. Step into the water. Let's see what would be a good key for this one. Um, So that's not right. That sounds low. The G, okay. Step into the water. Wait out a little bit deeper. Wet your feet in the water of his love. Oh, step into the water. Water. Wait out a little bit. The church needs more of its members to be workers in the field. Step into the waters, waters, wait a little bit deeper. deeper. Rest your feet in the water of his love. Step into the waters, waters, wait a little bit deeper. deeper. Come join angels singing praises to You heard that? You've heard that song before, haven't you? I thought, yeah, a lot of you know that. Yeah, it's an oldie goldie, been around for a long time. Well, I'll tell you what, let's have the children come up. 
blow that whistle and let's see how many children come up. Where's that whistle at? Children, come on up here next to, oh no, actually, you can come, come next to me. I'm the lonely one. Come on up here next to me, you guys. There they come. All right. There comes some more. We can, anybody from zero to 99 can come up here. So that's quite a name spread there. Okay. So, so uh, how, how old are you, man? You're eight and you're 10, right? 11 and you're 11 and you're nine. And here comes one. Yay. You're four. I love it. Thanks for being brave enough to come on up here and join. We're going to come join us. Yeah, we'll help sing here. You want to here? Come stand right here and turn around. There you go. I like that monster truck you have on front of your shirt there. Just don't let it run over me, okay? All right, there you go. All right, what are we gonna start with? That's hmm? Amari. Oh yeah, Amari. Amari. Is Amari? he out? He might be out now. The little guy that was. There he is. There, there he is. There. is. Amari what asked is his grand his great grandmother asked for Jesus loves me. Let's do that for him, right? Jesus loves me, this I know. I love Jesus. All right. I love Jesus. Does he know? Have I ever told him so? Jesus loves to hear me say that I love him every day. Yes, I love Jesus. Oh, yes, I love Jesus. Yes, I love Jesus. In tell him so you probably never heard that verse before did you it's a pretty cool verse because then you can tell jesus that you love him with that song too sing about his love for us and now so anybody have a children's song that pops to your mind that you'd like these young gentlemen here to sing deep and wide, deep and wide. You can you do the motion to that fellas all right you can do that don't get too energetic and slap each other in the face or anything <laughs> Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Let's flip it around now. Wide and deep, wide and deep, there's a fountain flowing wide and Wide and deep, wide and deep, there's a fountain flowing wide and deep. And you know what? Sometimes the children come up and do the motions and everything, the parents love it. But maybe we should have the parents do the help us out on the next one. We did this on a couple sing-alongs already, so I might wear it out, but I'm gonna do it one more time, okay? So when we get to it, we're gonna sing this little light of mine. You know the motions there. And when we get to um, hide it under a candle, we're not going to say no. Under a bushel. They're supposed to <laughs> hide it under a bushel. Did I say hide it under a candle? <laughs> hide it under a bushel. Hide it under a bushel. We usually say no, right? But we're going to just stop and have them respond. The first time you're supposed to say no, no. no way. The second time no. never ever, and this no the second time yeah no never ever uh uh right. and then the last time never ever. No. Okay? No way, nah, -uh, never. Do you think they have to practice? They probably can get it, can't you? You think they can get it? Might be pretty hard for them, I'll tell you. They're getting no, well, anyway. Yeah. 
This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. I'm gonna let it shine, hide it under a bushel. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine all over Roxbury. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine all over Roxbury. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine all over Roxbury. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine. Thanks for coming up. I think you can go sit down if you want. Unless you want to stay oh, up for oh, the whole she, night. No. Doggy in the window. Oh, uh, wait, 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 guys. We need, we need some help barking. This story, ha this song has a story behind it, but I promise not to share it tonight. Except to say I wish Rosetta was here because she got tired of us. <laughs> On our sing-along, we sang this song a lot, right? And Pupcorn, our youngest son, who we, yeah, Trevor. he is, he's Trevor. I call him Pupcorn. <laughs> well, he does the Pupcorn part. Yeah, okay. Right. He is uh, back in Colorado. He may very well know he's not watching now because we don't have a live stream. He has a job back there, and he loves it. And we said, why don't you come with us to Roxbury to travel again? And last summer was a bit long for him, so he said it's not happening. And so he stayed there, and he kept his job. So, yeah, doing that. All right. Doggy in the window. How much is that doggy in the window? I don't want a bunny or a kitty. Meow. I don't want a rat parrot that talks. I don't want a bowl of little fishy. Because you can't take a goldfish for a walk. So how much is that doggy in the window? The one with the wagon. Good job, guys. Thank you. All right, you can go down now, I guess. All right. They know that song better than I do. Uh, I've wondered how many parents got upset some nights when we sang that song on the sing-along because all the children started barking and made a lot of noise, and they're supposed to be going to sleep, right? Because by the time, when we were in Oregon, we would do it at 6 o'clock. Is that right, Ruth? Yeah. And it was 9 o'clock here. Still kind of hard to get used to, but the Lord blessed us. Huh? No, oh, not Oregon, in Oregon, sorry. yeah. Now it is. In Colorado, we're only two hours. But the Lord blesses us with a child in each time zone. Really, we have Kristen, PA, Dorcas with us in, in Colorado. Our son David and his wife Jean and the four grandchildren are in Texas. And then we have a daughter, LaDonna and uh, Justin, her husband, and six children, grandchildren in Oregon. And the Lord just led us to move from Oregon to Colorado um, this summer, this past summer. That was part of the trip we took. And um, we got, arrived in Colorado in August. 
and there's some challenges there with the resetting of the ministry, so to speak, because of all the uh, COVID vaccine mandates that are out there. And so um, the state prisons right now, we are not in the state prisons. Well, I shouldn't say we're not at all. We have a several chaplains that were free, anyway are in, the, are in the state prisons, and um, the rest of us are in the county jails right now. I just wanted to tell you that for several reasons. One is we're looking for, always looking for volunteers to come out and serve a year, y young people. Uh, you, you need to be 18 and willing to work and are ready to be stretched a little bit. Um, and we have a year volunteer service there that we just love to invite you as grandparents and parents to, to tell your, your grandchildren or nieces or anyway, somebody about that and come out and join us. And um, yeah, what was the other thing I was gonna say? Oh, the, the Lord is working. Um, you, you know, we do not know how God's going to take the past two some years with, with COVID and bring glory to himself in new ways that we could not imagine. Does that make sense to you? It's hard. I, you know, when you have to readjust your schedules and there, anyway. In, in the middle of all of that, God can take ashes or what Satan intended for evil, like Joseph said, and turn it into something good. And it takes faith to believe that sometimes. Uh, for me, it, with the whole COVID thing, I, I just got pretty, um, pretty tore up with all the division and the, uh, the uncertainty and the fear that people went through. And, um, you know, even, even Ruth and I didn't agree exactly on how to deal with it. She wanted me to take twice as much zinc as I thought I should take. <laughs> no, not really. She, she's good with. She's really good with that. I told her one time though, if I take any more zinc, I'm going to start rusting because I think zinc's iron. <laughs> but uh, anyway, but you know what I'm talking about. All those, all those things that we face. What is God going to do yet? Well, one of the things that happened in Canyon City, Colorado, is we went into the county jails. And it was amazing, the hunger that was there in Fremont County, um, just hearing over and over men and women coming to Christ, asking to be baptized, wanting to walk in a newness of life, being aware that their journey has just begun as a Christian, and it's going to be challenging for them because you and I know the brokenness that's out there, but by God's grace, it's possible. Amen? Amen. And that's what we believe tonight. And so, yeah goes along with this next song we'd like to sing if we can sing this one are we running out of time what time is it let's do this one yet then we'll do the for fun songs okay, okay? all right newsboy sang this song and just stuck with me i just love the testimony of it there was a there was a gentleman at uh, rock of ages nursing home who his brain got sick and uh, he was a very young man but when he first came into the um into the uh, dementia floor he told me mark you need to learn this song and uh I didn't right away, and he kept telling me every time, can you learn that song? So I tried to learn it. It's adapted to make that an old man can sing it. So with apologies to the newsboys, but I just love the message. In this time of desperation, when all we know is doubt and fear, there is only one foundation. We believe, we believe, and in this broken generation, when all seems dark, you help us see, there is only one salvation, we believe. i 
Say it together. We believe. We, we believe. believe. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. We always like to pay a little attention to the beauty of marriage, uh, the sanctity of it, and um, the world sometimes kind of scorns the sacredness of that. We know that in many ways, but by God's grace, we as Christians are supposed to be examples in that, and uh, admittedly, there's a lot of struggles, a lot of pain even in that. And yet the beauty is so wonderful. I just thank God for, for this uh, institution, I guess we can call it, or the beauty of, of, the, of marriage. So somebody had some uh, anniversaries here. Who were they, hon? Okay, uh, Lois and Reuben Hagee, we, they have an anniversary on Saturday, Woo! 28 years, and they requested Top of the World. Wow, 28 years, Lois and, all right. Did you want to come sing that for us, Lois and Reuben? <laughs> we, can, we can have you come join us and sing it for you. No? <laughs> so, um, what's, you can, you, there you go. I know you asked for two, two beautiful love songs, and I even listened to them to think maybe I knew them well enough, but my wife said, eh, she was afraid I'd make a train wreck out of it. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. Yeah, top of the world. Remember that feeling? Remember that love that you felt? When you first met and now all these years later it's still there it's even stronger such a feeling's coming over me there is wonder in most everything i see not a cloud in the sky got the sun in my eyes and i won't be surprised if it's a dream Everything I want the world to be Is now coming true Especially for me And the reason is clear It's because you are here You're the nearest thing To heaven that I've seen I'm on the top of the world Looking down on creation Something in the wind has learned my name. 
Congratulations, Ruben. Lois. Reminds me, though, you know, it says, you're everything I need. And I, every time I sing that, I'm thinking, yeah, okay, that's true with Jesus, right? And reminds me of the a story that some pastor was at a camp with his son, and they were singing, he's all I need. He's about Jesus, you know. And the little son kept tugging on his dad's pants, and it almost disturbed him. Finally, he looked down and said, what? He said, Daddy, we need air, too. <laughs> anyway, exactly. that was for what it's worth, department. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, that's a great one. Yeah. We'll do that. Absolutely. You all know that one, don't you? He paid a debt he did not owe. I owed a debt I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. And now I need a brand new song. Amazing grace all day long. Christ Jesus. And the beautiful thing is he wanted to do it. He didn't have to, but he did that because of his great love for us. <coughs> Where are you going next? Hey, okay, Lois Brower requested, you are my sunshine. Lois Brower, are you here tonight? All right, there you go. You are my sunshine. My sunshine, my only sunshine, you make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, I dreamt I held you in my arms but when I woke dear I was mistaken and I hung my head and I cried you are my sunshine my only sunshine you make me happy when skies are gray Like that. <laughs> All right. We got to keep moving. We're just running out of time. Oh, there's a truck driving song. Can we do that truck driving song next? Some reason. Well, I got lots of relatives that are truckers. You know how to tell a trucker on vacation, on a, at a family reunion or a vacation? You, can tell, you know how you can tell he's a trucker? He sleeps for the first half of the day. <clears throat> then he, after that, then he's ready to talk to you, you know? But, but anyway, back in the day, yeah, I got a deep appreciation for truck drivers. What's happening? Lois? What? You watch how they walk. Oh, okay. <laughs> you mean, <laughs> I said, look, that, that you watch how they walk, and then you can see he's a trucker. Are they kind of bent over? There's just a trucker's walk. Uh was a truck driver. <laughs> I love it. Well, you guys are good. It reminds me of the cowboy walk. They always walk bow-legged. You can tell a cowboy, right? But you be careful about how you assume that kind of thing, Lois. You get yourself in trouble. Like I did one time. I met a dear friend, a dear lady friend, and I thought she was pregnant. 
And stupid Mark Nisley said, so when's the baby due? Oh. So yes, Lois, it's okay to tell how people walk. Just <laughs> well, at least they can't tell, think that about me because I'm a man. But anyway, well, anyway, back to the truck, <laughs> truck driving song. Back in COVID, during COVID, I felt inspired enough to write this one. It's a parody from the song about trains called The City of New Orleans. And so this is to all you truck drivers, especially to Nelson Martin, who's on the road. Otherwise, he would be here tonight. Um, so Nelson, wherever you are, keep jamming them gears. And I appreciate all you do for, for our country, actually, yeah. This song goes like, rolling down the highway 18-wheeler. All kinds of weather, rain or snow or hail. Dispatcher says you gotta be back by Monday. And the traffic's backed up, going slow as a snail. Speed limit's 60 and I can see. Smokey Bear's got his radar on me. As I roll along the houses, farms and fields. Passing towns that have no name Got this big rig in the wind Passing motorhomes and slow-moving automobiles Good morning, America, how are you? I'm a big rig driver and I'm gonna make this run Making sure y'all got lots of toilet paper I'll be going 500 miles when the day is done. That was back during COVID, remember? Dodging scales and drivers on their cell phones. Old men forgetting what the passing lane is for. The restaurants closed down because of a virus corona. Got me thinking I, I can't do this anymore. But my sweet wife, she's accounting on me, got bills to pay, tolls, taxes, and fees. So I keep on taking every run I can. Whiny wheels putting me to sleep, playing gospel music with a steady beat. Don't slow me down, I'm a truck driving man. Good morning, America, how are you? I'm a big rig driver and I'm a gonna make this run Making sure y'all got lots of fresh groceries I'll be going 500 miles when the day is done How about you there, good buddy? You got your ears on? Anyway, that was for the fun. Hey, yes, brother. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's go on. I think we'll okay. maybe better go on with serious ones. Now. Anybody have any more requests? Any songs you'd like to have us sing here? <clears throat> Teresa? Uh, did you, which one? Long Black Train. Whoa. We can blow the train whistle on that one. Okay. Um, we'll yes. Do, Teresa requested what she about, asked Little me. David, and we'll find the... the he wanted one. Okay, he long black train, train, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I, I sometimes I make a train wreck out of that one, brother. We'll see how it goes tonight. Here's one that was a favorite of and I think it's because, well, I know it's because of the message. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we think we have to fight these battles by ourselves, but David made it clear when he stood before Goliath that he wasn't putting his trust in himself, he was putting his trust in his God. Amen. The battle's not mine, said little David. Lord, it's thine, I'm in your favor. I'm giving it all to you. I knew not what to do, and I'm so glad you let me see. You're really all that I need, for the battle's not mine. I give it to you, Lord, it's thine. Goliath, though so tall, the 
odds were just too high for poor little David. So he shook off all of his load, for with the power of God he was clothed. He said, the battle's not mine, I give it to you, Lord, it's thine. Now little David, unafraid, before the giant he stood that day. It seems it'll be the end for little David. But like the lion and the bear he slew, well old Goliath will come down too. For the battle's not mine, I give it to you, Lord it's thine. The battle's not mine, said little David. Thine, I'm in your favor. I'm giving it all to you. I knew not what to do, and I'm so glad you let me see. You're really all that I need, for the battle's not mine. I give it to you, Lord, it's thine. Little David, he stands tall, and Goliath seems so small. Sweet victory has reigned for little David, cause he gave the battle to one who has a record of getting things done. He said, the battle's not mine, I give it to you, Lord, it's thine. The battle's not mine, said little David. Somebody better give me an idea what time it is. Is it time to wrap up? Quarter after seven. What time do we start? Six. All right, we got a little bit. We got a little bit of time yet. Why did I think of this story, this joke? Uh oh. Oh well. Okay. <clears throat> well, oh, I'm going to get political. Why did Trump butcher all the chickens at the White House after he got elected? Give up? Because the chickens were going around there saying, Barack, Barack, Barack. <laughs> I think that's just made up. Which, which kind of goes with the one, why did Beethoven not like chickens in his yard? Because they were going around there scratching and saying, Bok, 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 Bok. <laughs> anyway, where are we going next, Ruth? <laughs> get me back on track here. Oh, the long black train. You got that whistle, honey? <laughs> Yeah, don't get on the long black train. <laughs> What's funny? What? <laughs> get him back on track. <laughs> oh, the train getting back. <laughs> Can't make that stuff up. Re years ago, years ago. Oh, go ahead, brother. Yeah. Plenty of food back here. People want to grab and eat. I smell it. it. Smells good. Yeah. Thank you, Ruben. Yep. Thank you. Appreciate that. Years ago, we were sitting in church one Sunday night, and uh, the four Yoder girls were up front singing "Beautiful Quartet," and some little child was sitting two rows back with his with his granddad and had a little bunny. And he, was, and he was making the bunny hop up and down with the music, with the singing. And for some reason, it tickled these girls so bad, they actually couldn't go on singing. They had to stop and laugh. <laughs> Remember what it's like when you're not supposed to laugh and you feel like you have to? Yeah, it can be pretty rough. Anyway, that was for free. Long black train. I'm going to put the <clears throat> capo on for this one. Hello, I'm not Johnny Cash. There's a long 
black train coming down the line feeding off the souls that are lost and crying rails of sin only evil remains watch out brother for that long black train you can look to the heavens you can look to the sky you can find redemption staring back into your eyes there is protection and there's peace the same burning your ticket for that long black train cause there's victory in the lord i say victory in the lord cling to the father and his holy name and don't go an engine there on that long black train making you wonder if your ride is worth the pain he's just waiting on your heart to say let me ride on that long black train well i can hear the whistle from a mile away it sounds so good but I must stay away. That train is a beauty making everybody stare, but its only destination is the middle of nowhere. Cause there's victory in the Lord I say, victory in the Lord. Cling to the Father and His Holy don't go riding on that long black train and don't go riding on that long black train that was good you did good she, she, did a whistle she blows the whistle on me sometimes mm. isn't that true though sin looks so enticing sometimes so easy and so um yeah that we get our we can get trapped into that and and you know i i think it's this song you know um yeah let's take it seriously there there's something appealing to the flesh about sin that we need to deny for the glory of god and for the good of ourselves and uh for those of we know we've made bad decisions sinful decisions in the past that have been uh, painful to come out of but praise god for his redemption um yeah Am I allowed to request a song? I guess, yeah. Prayer through? Somebody's got another prayer through? Somebody got another prayer through. Yeah, you can ask do for that the, one. Do we need the I'll have to find it, yeah. Oh. I, I, I'm afraid I don't know that oh. by memory. Okay. Does anybody else have a comment, a testimony, something you'd like to share? Back there. They did, yes. They did. Yeah, they came up and sang. That's right. I didn't, I didn't think about asking you guys to come up and sing. You want me to sing it? Well, you can come sing the bass to it or something. Huh? The ba bluebirds don't sing bass? Okay. All right. There's a couple big old bluebirds that made the bass come out in Mama's voice, I'll tell you that. Blue Jays. She cracks me Oh, that's the Blue Jays. That's right. She cracks me up sometimes. We, when we moved to Colorado, we had no idea that we, we'd see as many deer in town eating flowers and stuff mule deer, they're everywhere. And, and, but that's not all. And those of you who follow on Facebook know this, but she decided when we moved right into the park, they said, if you put up bird feeders, the bears will get to them. Yeah, and we're like, in. yeah, really, bears? And sure enough, she put up these beautiful bird feeders. Well, actually, I put them up <laughs> in park. And we put them up, and, and, and don't you know, we got a picture on Facebook you'll love. I looked out there one morning, this big old bear was leaning in over the fence. He had a bear hug on that feeder, and he's just licking them seeds out of there, just having a grand old time. And mom was ready to kill herself a bear. Yeah, she, <laughs> she, she done lost everything she thought. No. <laughs> she went in, we made that bear run away. We scared him. 
But don't you, and, and uh, was it a day later we came back? And they came when we were gone, and man, they just tore them all down and everything. You had a grand oh. time. And then later when it snowed, we had a yearling bear come right up on the deck, right by the double wide glass doors there. He Looked was begging like, to come in. Yeah, he, he was, was like begging. begging to come in. I think it was cold for him. We got a snowstorm in May or something. Was yeah. it June? May, May. Yeah. yeah. It disappeared by lunchtime, but it was seven inches of snow. I measured it, mm -hmm. yeah. So anyway. What's that? Okay. Do the Bluebird song next? All right, we'll do that. I met a girl down in the hills who gave my lonely heart a thrill. Her beauty seemed just like a breath of spring. And when I looked into her eyes, I thought of blue summer skies. And when I held her hand in mine, I heard the bluebirds sing. They sang of wondering, wondering if you love her. Will she marry, marry if you'll ask her? Will her heart beat? Until she promised we would when we planned on being married in the spring. All through those long cold winter months, it seemed that spring would never come. And every gloomy winter day, I heard the bluebirds sing. They sang of waiting, waiting for the flowers, and of counting, counting every hour, till the bluebirds, bluebird chirps. Into the world once more And though we're waiting Waiting for the sunshine We keep hating Hating every storm cloud That has gathered Gathered o'er the mountain To keep us far apart Spring touched the earth, we were married in that village church. Her wedding seemed just like a dream come true. So many years have come and gone, our love is still as true and strong as when I found her long ago. And still the bluebirds sing, they sing of loving, loving every hour. That I'm married, married to my flower, we'll be happy, happy ever after. Since the day we met And though we're older Older love is sweeter We grow fonder Fonder of each other We'll be sweethearts Sweethearts both together Until the end of time Amen Till the end of time Wow What's that? On the, somebody got another prayer through? Well, does he know that one, Christopher? Oh, yeah, he does. But Teresa, I know. Oh, Teresa, your hand is up. I see that hand. Come on down. No. <laughs> 25 years ago. And you're having an anniversary today. Tuesday, you have the 25th anniversary. 25 years. I love it. Yeah, you can, Chris, if you come help us on We Have This Moment, I would appreciate that. He's given Ruth a kind of interesting, or Dorcas an interesting look. <laughs> no, he wasn't. No, you weren't. Okay, I thought you were. I thought you were like, really, Dorcas? No, he wasn't. You, okay. Our children are, oh, man, they are such a delight. And, um, no, you are. Yeah. They're such a delight, I said. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I, I once, well, I told this story last time, last year. I won't say it again. Let's go ahead. We have this moment, and this is especially for 
Fred and Teresa Halderman, 25 years ago at your wedding, you sang this song. I sang it. We sang it. Did I sound better than I do now? <laughs> you weren't listening back then. I know you weren't. All right. Mm. Most of you know that song, right? While, she, while they're getting that, um, how many of you never saw the sing-along beef? I've never oh, seen it. Because we're going to give you free popcorn if you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to say thank you. I really do. Uh, your comments and your prayer requests and your prayers, uh, those times of sharing, were part of what helped us get through. That makes sense. Um, and just one of the things that I learned, lessons I think the Lord taught me through this time was, you know, if you come in and you deliberately, intentionally set aside the cares of the world, leave them go, and you sit down and you focus on worship, it makes a difference in your life. It really does. And, give, and, and you're like, why didn't I do this more? <laughs> but yeah, we have this moment. I remember years ago, Dorcas was really tiny. She always put that, we have this moment today at the end. You were so cute. <laughs> now you're not cute, you're lovely. Right. And Chris, you're handsome, just saying. Oh, tied to the sound of the music of living, happy songs from the laughter of children at play. Hold my hand as we run through the sweet fragrant meadows, making memories of what was to Tender words, gentle touch, and a good cup of coffee, and someone who loves me and wants me to stay. Hold them near while they're here, and don't wait for tomorrow to look back and wish for today. our fingers like sand. Yesterday's gone and tomorrow may never come, but we have this moment today. Take the blue
clock still didn't move. <clears throat> Is it uh, 7.30? Okay, it's time to quit. Somebody got another prayer through, and then we'll wrap up with a, couple, with a song about heaven. All right. Uh-oh. That's not about heaven. Together in heaven? Is it, I want us to be together in heaven? Do we have the words to that? You know it. No. I want us to be together in heaven. Nelson I sings it, doesn't he? walk on the streets that are pure as gold. You and know it. I'm not sure that we've ever sung that one before, but I know I've heard it. But that doesn't mean I can sing it. This is one that the Kingdom Echoes, which we were part of years ago, sang that um, has always blessed me. My mama could pray, oh, and um, so did other people. Have there ever been times in your life when you stopped and you were kind of surprised at the strength that was there that you felt? And I think it's because somebody was praying for you. I think I've experienced that. And keep praying for people because they too will sense that too. It's called Somebody Got Another Prayer Through. Do you want to sing this, Chris? Do you know this one? My soul was sick and dying, bound in sin and shame. Somebody called upon the Lord till sweet redemption came. Somebody held me up to God when I was feeling down. And I'm so glad somebody prayed so I can sing it now. Somebody got another prayer through. Somebody touched the Lord. Somebody just touched heaven for another need once more. Somebody prayed till the Spirit came. Somebody called on Jesus' name. Somebody knocked upon heaven's door. Somebody touched the Lord. When I'm needing healing, I feel too low to pray. Somebody interceded, and soon the healing came. Now help me, Lord, to pray for those who stand in the need of prayer. Let it be said just once more, somebody touch the Lord. Somebody got another prayer through, somebody touch the Lord. Somebody just touched heaven for another need once more. Somebody prayed until the Spirit came, somebody called on Jesus' name. Somebody knocked upon heaven's door. Somebody touched the Lord. Somebody knocked upon heaven's door. Somebody touched the Lord. I make up some of those endings as I go. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> All right, we're going to do Love Will Bring Us All Together. This was a favorite, I think, partly because Ruth does such a good job on the alto section here. And uh, I really believe it was all my heart. There is nothing as strong as true love, love that cares enough to warn, to compel, and to forgive. And uh, we hear so much about the word love in Scripture, and yet I think I still have a lot to learn about that, God's love. All things work together for good when God's love is understood. God is good and everything he does is right. Springtime flowers wilt and fade, but the memories that they made are a ray of sunshine in the darkest night.
Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your mind. And the second commandment is like this. Love your neighbor as yourself. <clears throat> Let's wrap up with one. Is there anyone else? I don't want to cut anybody off. There's Why me, Lord? Wow. Why me? No. Why? Okay. And what did you have back there? Please do. Okay. Well, praise the Lord. Thank you for sharing that. Appreciate that. It's amazing to me how God can take a simple little thing, like throwing up a camera in a living room and use it for his glory. And I say that humbly. I really do. It's not what Ruth and I have done. But just a week ago when we were out in Indiana, we sang at a church that two days before that, or several days before that, had um, a funeral for a 43-year-old father who was killed in a truck accident, leaving a, a wife and five children, and one with a special needs child. And I was just thinking about the pain they have to journey through. And then it was interesting that night, the son was there, and um, we sang Roll On. Remember that song, Roll On Truck First? about uh, him getting lost and then the Lord hearing the prayer and him coming by. Well, this little son, or this young son, his daddy didn't come home that day, that night. And the reason I share that is because pastor went back to see if he was, you know, how he's doing. He said, well, my dad used to play me this song. So it's amazing how the Lord takes your smile, come on now, your encouragement to encourage others, to build others, to heal wounds. So let's keep using that. And, you know, it takes faith to believe that sometimes. You're like, what can I do? And yet God takes the words of a song and uses it. His Holy Spirit, his anointing is so needed by us. Yeah. We're, we're undeserving. Maybe that's what this song talks about. Why me, Lord? What have I ever done? To deserve even one of the pleasures I've known. Tell me, Lord, what did I ever do that was worth loving you for the kindness you've shown? So, Lord, help me, Jesus. I wait. So help me, Jesus, I know what I am. But now that I know that I needed you, so help me, Jesus, my soul's in your hands. Tell me, Lord. try to repay all I've taken from you. Maybe, Lord, I can show someone else what I've been through myself on my way back to you. So, Lord, Yeah, we'll end only with fitting this. to end with this one. I just 
in, um, for those of us Nistleys that are here, this is a song that I would remember my grandma singing all the time. And it's just very much a reflection of how she lived in anticipation of being with her Savior. Amen. Mama loved to sing about heaven. <laughs> and now she's there in heaven singing. What What's that? Sweet, Sweet by, by and by. by. Sweet by and by. There's a land that is fairer than day. And by faith we can see it afar. Thank you. Don't rush off. Stick around for some fellowship and some food. I'm going to try to do my share in that. And uh, thanks for coming again. God bless you all on your journey. And it sounds cliche, but it's true. If we don't see you again on this earth, in heaven we'll see each other. Amen. Stay true and faithful. Though. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you again tonight with awe of what you do and who you are. You're an amazing God. We just worship you tonight. We lift you up. We pray that you would strengthen everyone here who is feeling that, who needs strength. You know who we are. We pray that you bring comfort to those who need comfort. And, Father, we pray for your healing touch for those who need healing. Father, we know that sometimes we really do get messed up and broken in our world physically, emotionally, and spiritually. So we pray for your healing for everyone within the sound of the living room tonight, living room sing-along tonight. May you be glorified and lifted up. You're an amazing God. I thank you for these wonderful people who came out, and I just pray that you would help them to stay true and to stay burning bright for you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen.